Hey guys, it's VT Delta Fan 101. This is a video on the da sorry the Dangerous Power FX uh, board, the OLED board. Everyone seems to think it's really hard to use. I actually find it quite easy. So I'm just kind of going to go over some of the stuff here. You got your profile load menu, hot start menu, program menu, and you use the trigger uh, just to press it slightly to uh, move down. Get trigger trainer. It's kind of neat. See, shows how fast you're going. I got 18 balls per second on semi. 17 the next time, so it's pretty neat. Uh, to exit out of that, you just use the orange power button, hold it down, it'll turn you turn it off. Hold the trigger down and turn the orange button again to turn it back on, and you get back to the starting menu. If you want to program stuff, hold down the trigger just a little bit and it sets you into here. Set profile A, this is how you set your mode. Um, there's marker set points, which is your trig debound, or trig debound, solenoid, blah 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 blah, all that fancy stuff. There's a button here. Eventually, if you cycle through enough, you'll see a little arrow in the corner there. Hold that down and then set you back to previous uh, data. So you want to go to firing set points. That's how you change uh, the balls per second and stuff. So you can have turning mode. You can change that to whatever. Cap firing. You can have that on or off. I usually have it on. It's capped at 16.5 balls per second. That's what balls per second fine means. You can change uh, increments of 0.1. So you have 16.7 or 16.1 or 16.8. It all depends on your personal preference. Um, I have the burst shots on three. I'm pretty sure that can be adjusted to nine, at the most. Um, reactive shots. That's just that's an interesting mode. Actually, you'll have to figure that out if you get an FX. Uh, so basically, that's just all the little things you can adjust your gun with. I guess I'll go back down and now that the arrow's up there, I can go back. Oops. Go back again. There's the reset menu if you have to reset your modes. Uh, okay, so yeah, there's other stuff. There's like statistics. I've clicked the trigger 2,039 times, and I've also had total shots 2,660. Um, my peak point's been 16 when I've been firing on uh, whatever, I guess. Um, now I'm just going to show you what the uh, board looks like when you have the gun on and ready to shoot. Uh, I'll turn it off. So just start the gun up again. It'll have a nice little dangerous power engineering. Um, so yeah, this from what this says, I'm at 16.5 balls per second capped at semi-auto. Um, to change your modes, actually I guess we'll start off with saying the eyes are on, to change the eyes off, you just click the silver button. Um, this shows your battery life, this is your tournament lock, and uh, I'm not sure what the A means, I don't remember. But um, change your modes, you just click the orange button, so it's burst, change it, put your eyes off, say, and you can hear your soul mind click. Put the eyes back on. Um, you can go to Reaction, Auto, Ramp, PSP3, NXL, Millennium, and back to Semi. So there's a lot of modes you can do. Mostly uh, this gun can be used in tournaments, and you can just turn the tournament lock on, and it will uh, easily stop you from changing any of the modes. So that's just a quick look at the uh, FX, and it's a uh, nice little OLED board. It's pretty simple. If you have any more questions or uh, Anything that you need to know about the programming of the board, just let me know and I can uh, give some input on it, or at least I'll try my best. I'm still learning too, so uh, yeah. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Uh, I'm going to get some more out, and uh, you guys have a good day.